Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to address this uh, number two question zero to C function and nest loop, nested loop. Okay, that's what we are going to do today. Make sure you go through the question. Make sure you go through the the material they give you. It's important that you understand them. If you like and subscribe, show me more love. I will do the tags immediately after this video. So let's go to our number zero question. It said, what is the ASCII value for five? So you ASCII value for five is what is 53. Okay, write down the ASCII value then from eight, from 65, from 65 to A is 65. So can't 65 and above. You see, that's, how, that's where you get A. Then from... Uh, 5 is 53, uh, 53, then dash, dash is 45, 45. So you can Google the ASCII value and check it there. 5 is, that's 45. Then 0 is, 0, ASCII is 48, it should be 48. Then the, the ASCII value for J should be 74, okay? The ASCII value for A should be 97, small letter. Then the, the this is a remainder, this, this sign, this modulo is remainder, remainder, okay? So remainder, so if you divide three, uh, 12 by three, how many will be, what is going to remain? You see, you, there's zero, the answer is gonna be zero because nothing will remain. Three in 12 is four and there will be no remainder, okay? That's what that means. Then when you divide 10, in 12 in 10 you will discover that there will be no remainder remainder why because if you sorry there will be remainder two because when you divide um if you divide 10 inside this 12 it remain two two will be the answer okay that will be the answer so so two 12 inside 10 you have two remain you to go once and you still have remainder two then the ASCII value for a, capital A should be 65, right? Then they say, which of the following loop statement does not exist? Do why is it each exists? To loop, to loop does not exist, okay? For loop, for each loop, why loop, they all exist. Why? Okay, now what is the result of this 97, 98 module, 98 module seven? It means that divide seven, divide eight, uh, divide seven inside eighty-nine. You will discover that it will, it will be twelve times, right? That means when you say seven times twelve, it should be around eighty-four, right? And what is going to remain is going to remain at five. So that the answer is five. Then when you divide twelve inside here, it will be six, and there will be no remainder. So that's the answer. Let me let's check if there's any error. If we fail, anyone will go back and correct it. So let's see where we fail. Where do we fail? So let's check where we fail it. So let's 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 go back and see all our code. It's possible that I have moved. Sorry, let me go back. Sorry. Um okay from here. Five is correct. So what would be the what could be wrong? Okay. What could be wrong? Let's see. What could be wrong? Zero, yes, is 48. What could be wrong? J is 74. Yes. Three inside 12 is four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what could be wrong? What could be wrong? Let's go down. Let me go and find out what could be wrong. Okay. Let's find out what could be wrong. Let's find out what could be wrong. A65 to loop. Yes. Yes. So what could be wrong? Let's check what could be wrong. I must have done something wrong. Oh, there's an oversight somewhere. So just give me one minute. Let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. Okay. So there is do okay. 
Oh, I see. We need to. Yeah, there is more. Okay. There is no each here. Okay, that I see. I see. And for each. So the answer is each loop to and for loop for each. For each is a loop, but you need another standard feature. Or you can use a standard feature of um, C to get it to add it. But it's not a direct C loop for each. So I thought I was still recording. I mistakenly off. I didn't know that I wasn't recording when I was doing the correction. So thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.